The Chaldeans were some of history's best diplomats and opportunists. They were a Semitic-speaking tribe that migrated up to southern Mesopotamia and lasted for approximately 230 years. The Chaldean people consisted of five tribes, the Bit Yakin, the Bit Dakuri, the Bit Amukani, the Bit Sa'ala and the Bit Shilani. They were experts in astronomy, math and writing. Once the Chaldeans had gotten power, they had proven that they could build up and defend their empire. Between 940 and 860 BC, the Chaldean tribes had moved up to Babylon, during a time where Babylon was at a period of weakness, and they couldn't prevent foreign people from invading and settling in their lands. 852 BC, the Chaldean city-states were conquered by the Assyrians as seen on the black obelisk of Shalmaneser III. In 780 BC, Marduk Apla Ulsar takes control of Babylon while the Assyrians are settling rebellions around their empire. 748 BC, Babylonians take back control of Babylon from the Chaldeans. 721 BC, as King Sargon II of Assyria campaigns against northern peoples, the Chaldeans take over Babylon. In 710 BC, King Sargon II of Assyria reconquers Babylonia from the Chaldeans. In 703 BC, Chaldeans take the Babylonian throne but lose it shortly after. In 700 BC, Chaldeans again fail in a revolt against Assyria. 620 BC, a distracted Assyrian empire gave the opportunity for the Chaldean king Napopolassar to take Babylon. During this time, the Chaldeans used this new power to make an alliance with the Medes, then ultimately defeated the Assyrian Empire, taking control of the land from Mesopotamia to the Mediterranean. 604 BC, King Nebuchadnezzar II, the greatest king, had ruled from a ziggurat and had rebuilt all of the Babylonian cities. He also expanded his empire into Egypt and Asia Minor. In 597 BC, they conquered Jerusalem as documented in the Bible. The death of Nebuchadnezzar II in 562 BC brought an end to Chaldean stability. Many kings had come and gone, and by 539 BC, the Chaldean Empire was conquered by Cyrus II of Persia. Within a couple of centuries, the Chaldeans had completely assimilated into Babylon, and the word Chaldean had lost all links to a race, people, or land, referring to the trade of witchcraft and astrology by all following records. The Chaldeans were some of history's best diplomats and opportunists. They took advantage of every opportunity that came by, but as history tells us, were never able to take on Assyria or Babylon when at their full strength.